Hello everyone, Janine here. Welcome to my channel. I'm sure everybody in the crafting community has heard of Annie Miss Garden Grub One. She's just amazing. Talent that whew, blows your mind. And she also has her own Etsy store. And she has a Facebook group. Um, in the Facebook group she sells monthly kits. And they are really unique and fabulous to work with and very affordable. I will post the links to all Annie's networking sites, social networking sites below. As an incentive in her uh, Facebook group, the person who receives the most likes for their projects is the one that gets award guest designer. To enter your project, for the possibility of winning, you obviously have to use items from a store and or items from the kit or use the kit itself, sorry. So, um, you know, you create your project, you take your photographs, you upload it and it goes into the monthly challenge. And if you have the most likes, you become the guest designer for the next month and you receive a completely unique kit that is not available as a monthly kit. So, um, in April, I created some projects and I was awarded, I had the most likes, so I was awarded Guest Designer for May. Unfortunately, I could not finish my project on time. I was not, I was away on family matters and Annie is a gracious lady understood the situation and has told me that I can do it when I'm ready. So of course I have now finished the um, the, the project so I'll, I'll just I'll just share I'm here to share it with you. The kit I won was a teapot and two cups and um, some embellishments to to go with the kit. Um, when you receive a kit from Annie, she does a lot of the work for you already. For example, this teapot was already stuffed. It's covered in muslin, stuffed, and it has that, um, you know, this kind of uh, lace fabric. Sorry. Um, it's already covered the, the muslin with that fabric. In the kit, I received... Uh, this gorgeous fabric over here. I'll show you that side. It's much better. It's stunning. Look at that fabric. Beautiful. You receive a piece of that fabric. You receive, um, let me just show you. I've left overs. You receive the, a yard of this lace. Brown, gorgeous lace. You receive a yard. I received a yard of uh, this lovely uh, lace as well. And this beautiful flower trim. Two of these flowers that she made herself, muslin flowers, and a lot of uh, uh, three or four appliques. And this is what I have left of the appliques after I cut it up. And of course, you have your two teaspoons that I that goes with the tea. Uh, cups and saucer so let me show you the let me show you the, the teapot first so I I spread the fabric around the front and the back I've done it in different ways uh, because I wanted this you know um, each side to look different to the other so this I layered or glued down the fabric around the spout. You see there's some of that at the bottom there. This fabric has this lovely um, bottom of the laces like that. So I gathered it and for, and made a little base to put my teapot in, to rest my teapot on, sorry. I put some pearl, flat back pearls from my stash at the bottom to give it a bit of weight. I created a ruffle with that um, brown lace that came in the kit and this gorgeous, gorgeous shabby um, trim 
came with the kit as well. I don't have any left. I've used it um, on the this. I've used it here on the teapot and on the cups. I'll show you that in a bit. These all the flowers are from my stash. This fabric is from my stash. Um, so on this side, I cut up the appliques. The this nice big one over there, you know, and positioned it in that way. Use some of that gorgeous flower, peach flower trim that came with the kit as well. All these little doodads are from my kit as well as the blings, flowers. I took that, this lace, and I think I'll just put my, I took this lace, this brown lace, and cut it so that this separated from the bigger part. So I used the larger part, the large, uh, wider piece of the lace, ruffled it and gathered, gathered it rather and um, glued it down on the handle. And on the other side, I used the thin piece, and ruffled that as well, and glued it down in that way. And again, I have the gorgeous flower trim from the kit as well so yeah um this this part on on top here this fabric um let me show you now oh, where did i put it all oh, right here we go that fabric is i used these oh, i have to show you three these this, the, that part i used over here so i glued that down over there and one petal came that side and the other one came this side you know like that and i did it on each side i used this part two of these and i glued them together and formed the little base I used this part of my fabric, this one here, put one on each side, ran it up like that. I also used the inside of this section, that little one over there, I used that right at the top, put a pearl in, put a pearl in the center, and I really like the way that, I really like the way that came out. I use pull trim all the way around so that's this side and obviously this trim as well this part as well you know it's this part of the fabric over here and all the bling all the blings are from my stash as well and here I have some more appliques um, all the doodads from my stash this, I just sewed this un, into the teapot and it just dangles nicely and the top is exactly the same as that side and um, yeah I sewed this into the teapot I created this little dangle from my stash and this is leftover pieces from the fabric so I like I like what I like how it looks. Looks really that little dangle over there. So yeah, that's my teapot. Let me give you a close up and my little spout. Love this side. This side's really it's that fabric. The fabric is a stunner. Um. I posted pictures of this project in Annie's Facebook group and one or two ladies inquired about this lace and Annie sold them, sold some to them. So if you are interested, go pop over to Annie's store and see if there's any of um, that fabric left. It's gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so that's my teapot. I also put tiny little pulls over there. In the um, sorry, let me just take it out. A tiny little pull. That's from my stash. These two dads, as I said, are from my stash as well. And 
this trim is from my stash as well. So that's my teapot. I'll leave it over there. Stay nice there. And yeah, oh my. They're both the same. My cups. The doily comes with a teacup. Again, the teacup is covered in the muslin fabric, and the rest is up to you. So I've taken this gorgeous trim that I spoke about. Oh, it's so yummy! And I used it around each cup and around the base between the cup and the doily. And I also put a lot of I put a, a lot of it around the the handle of the of the teacup. This piece in front here, these are from my this is from my stash, bling from my stash and that little applique from my stash as well. I use that same flower trim and I that came with the kit and added these three um what have what fell and added the three poles on the flower for definition. At the back I have a little bow and flower from my stash. And this, so what I've done is I've just put some stuffing in there and Annie provides some stuffing, I think, I'm not sure. These doilies are from Annie as well, but they're from a different kit. And so I just popped them on there and added these flowers of mine and this is going to be decoration in my craft space, so I I like how it looks. So there's that one. The other one's exactly the same. Um, you know, exactly the same. Bling for my stash. And um, yeah, so there we go. I'll give you one last. I'll do one last look, one last show. <laughs> and the kettle, oh, kettle, Don the teapot. Do you know, I must have done this video, started this video about five, six times on on Thursday, today as well, three, four times. I just forget how to speak when I'm recording and I go blah 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 and I blurp all the time so please forgive and um yeah there's the kettle teapot Janine teapot sorry guys teapot and if you're watching this is all I have left of that fabric that gorgeous lace fabric trim and this is what I have left of the kit I will more than enough to make another project which I will be doing in due course all that lovely appliques left this oh i didn't tell you about this this um this lace fab this lace that she provides this one um the the cups doesn't the cups just has the the, the the muslin it doesn't come covered in this um lace fabric so it's just plain so i took this um lace that came in the kit and i ran it all the way around the cup both cups and i have more than enough for another project another project left and um, as you can see Annie I have lots of goodies left that I can use even these flowers I haven't used them in this project so I have enough left to do another project so with that ladies and gents to say thank you for watching and if you stay throughout the video apologize for my blips and I'm going to do another video. Hopefully the next one will go a lot better. Thanks for watching. See ya.